Well, I am now officially a recipient of the chain letter. Uh, gas prices in our area and how to remedy the rising gas prices by basically boycotting the two major uh, gas companies which I won't list. Um, this is the email that I sent in response to not only the person who sent it to me but like the 80 people that he carbon copied it to and didn't have the respect to BCC it to which I won't get into the fact that nobody knows what BCC is anymore. <clears throat> I'd like to take a moment and comment on the flaw of this plan. Does anyone realize why peak gas is here? Does anyone care that maybe the solution isn't to make them charge less for gas, and instead might be to consume less gas? I mean, maybe that sounds like a radical idea, considering how much our suburban lives depend on the automobile, but since that is what allowed them to be in control in the first place, maybe it isn't showing how the consumer can be the one to set the price. Maybe it should be about how we are responsible for redirecting the market. Reusable fuels? Water? Ethanol? I don't know, I'm not uber up on all these new fandangled ideas they have for enviro-friendly vehicles. But how about an oldie but goodie? Carpooling? Public transit? Human energies like walking or biking? Hell, dance to work and skip the cost of a gym membership. It just pisses me right off that we're bitching about the cost of gas, but not about the dying out of an entire species, or the early or late onset of seasons, and how that changes our ecosystem or any of the other ignored effects of this whole global warming theory. If gas should cost about 90 cents per liter, and instead it costs $1.17 per liter, why not drive to work with someone and each pay half? Now you've instantly reduced the price of gas to 58.5 cents per liter, and you didn't have to bitch or moan or complain. Plus, you've taken one car off the road, so you can pat yourself on the back and burn a few calories, too.